Greetings and good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm going to take you for a tour of this Montana 3781. It has a dry weight of 13,450 pounds and it's 41 feet long. So it is a big, beautiful camper. Okay. We'll check out our pass-through storage up here at the front. Massive pass-through storage. Had to trigger the light. You also have a place out here for TV. And you also have your central vac system out here, which is awesome because you could sweep your pass-through storage as well as your tow vehicle if you wanted. These are great because you don't have to bring your broom, your dustpan, anything like that with you. You just drag that out when you need it. Boom, done. As you'll see, we actually have a couple of slides on the camp side, but we still have two really nice size awnings. They both have LED lights under them and they're both powered. On the back, we have our ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof. We are also backup camera, rear observation camera prepped. We have a two inch receiver back here for additional towing frameless windows throughout not all windows but most of your windows your slides are a mix you actually have hydraulic slides as well as uh traditional rack and pinion slides on this uh you'll notice the traditional style on your bedroom slides let's go in and take a little tour i think we'll start up at the front all the way up in the front of this 41 foot beast so this camper says that it sleeps four i think you could probably sleep more if you wanted to but up here in the bedroom we have our king size bed that does have storage underneath it excuse me you've got nightstands on both sides of the bed you do have regular power as well as usb power over there a nice big closet actually a really big closet so you see we've got some I wouldn't call them drawers, just some shelving space. There we go, some shelving space. Then if we pull this over and show you the other side, you'll see that we actually have a laundry hamper over here and an area to be able to hang clothes and stuff. Directly across from the bed, we've got a bank of cabinet, or a cabinet and a bank of drawers on both sides. I cannot talk today. Your TV is mounted up there on the wall so you can lay back here in the bedroom and watch TV. I do also want to point out that it is on the quiet cool system. So you'll notice there is no AC unit sticking out here. That's because they're on the top. So you're going to stay nice and cool, but you're not going to have any noise. Well, not any noise, but you're going to have less noise. Montana's are four season campers, so you can camp in them full time. It's also beneficial to be that Four Seasons camper because that extra insulation is going to help keep your camper cooler, which is a great feature. While I'm here, I also want to point out your window shades. They actually come with two. So you have one you could use more like during the day where you're still going to let some sunlight in, but it's going to help keep the camper cooler. And then you also have your blackout shade when you really want some privacy in your camper, have it nice and dark. So it does have both, and that is throughout the camper. Our bathroom is massive. We've got dual sinks, dual medicine cabinets, as well as a shared cabinet here in the middle. And then quite a bit of cabinets down here and drawers down here below the sink. Sit down shower, big plus for me. I've had it in all of my campers. I absolutely love it. You know, I say it's great for the ladies to be able to shave their legs and stuff. It's also nice just to sit there and chill and relax. And it does have that little moon roof in it to give you that extra added height. Though I'm six feet and I have no problem standing in there. What's one of the things I guess I forgot to point out when we came in was I really, let's just back up here real quick. I really like the fact that your entry to your bedroom is on that side. So when people come in, they're not looking straight back to your bedroom. You actually have to come around. You've got that nice hallway there. Inside here, we've got some storage space as well as your main control panel. So you don't have to worry about the kiddos flipping buttons and stuff, which is nice. You have some storage up above and... You have this big area 
that's also washer dryer prepped. And you've got a ton of room in here for either a stackable unit or one of those combo units or just using it for additional storage. Okay, now we're going to work our way into the... Let's go this way. Let's go this way. No, let's do, let's do the kitchen next. How about the kitchen? So you have an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. This bad boy is big. So as you see, you have plenty of space in here for easily a week or two's worth of groceries. Stainless steel. You've got a large countertop area with drawers and cabinets on both sides of your stainless steel three burner stove. You have a residential sized stainless steel microwave, really big, and cabinets on both sides of that. Our uh, kitchen island is massive. And I'll show you all sides of this bad boy. It is massive. What's really cool is you've got a ton more storage down here. I think that's, I mean, Montana's got a lot of highlights to me, but one of their big highlights is their storage and their just residential feel. You have like that 80-20 split sink in here with a detachable sprayer. So again, lots of countertop prep space and food serving space between here and there. We have our freestanding dinette that this leaf will actually pull out to give you additional space there. I call it freestanding. It's technically attached, but it's like a freestanding one. And some of the little features that they do that I really like is you've got these things that pull down or push down. But then when you need it, you have USB as well as regular charging there, which I think is a really nice feature. I gave you all of these stats and stuff, but I haven't given you the price. So we get asked that a lot. One of the new things that the manufacturer has done is our price is actually well below MSRP. So we're not allowed to post what that sale price is. Now, what I can do, if you're interested in the price, you can uh, request it down below in a comment and we'll message it to you. Also on our website, we've made it super easy if you're on any unit and you want to know, I shouldn't say any unit, any unit where we cannot display the sale price. We have a request spell sale price button that's super easy. Click it, put in your email address, we'll email it to you. So anyway, now that we got that out of the way, let's get a tour of the rest of the camper. Sometimes I miss showing the ceiling. And if you're new to watching our videos, <clears throat> then it's important to point out that Almost all the manufacturers went with a lighter, brighter color scheme this year. You're going to see that throughout here. Like I said, if you're new to the videos, uh, this isn't new to you. If you're old to the videos, you're going to notice that we've got rid of a lot of the darker furniture. They've went lighter with furniture, lighter with flooring, and they've kept some dark accent colors, which I think looks really nice. And you'll see that with your light above. And then you've got your ceiling fan when we're talking about feeling more residential. Your living room is massive. So you actually have theater seats here, but it's kind of nice. If you want to get cozy, you can. If you're mad at each other, you can put a little space there in between you. You've got a place for your drinks. You've got power as well as USB. Both of these recline. They have heat. They have massage. And they even have these cool little lights. I also want to point out why we're here that technically it's carpetless in here. This is like a woven rug. So it's more like that indoor outdoor stuff. I have it in my Cougar, it's super easy to clean. You do have dimmer over here. So if you don't want the full blast lights, you can actually dim those down. As you'll see up above our full size couch, we have a more storage up there and this couch will fold out to sleep two more. So that's where they're getting that four. Me personally, I think you can sleep a couple more people here because I cannot tell you how many times I've fallen asleep in my theater seats. You do have small end tables on both sides of the couch and you do have regular charging and USB charging there. So that's really nice. And then all of your seating is kind of centralized around your entertainment area. You've got your nice big TV that will articulate so you can see it from anywhere in here. You've got your indoor speakers. I can't remember if I pointed out the outdoor speakers out there, but you have outdoor speakers as well. Behind there is your CD, DVD, Blu-ray player behind the black. 
they do the black in the Montanas. That way you can leave that up and not have, you know, everything showing, but your remote will actually work through that, which is pretty cool. And then down below that, we have our fireplace. And I love the fireplaces. I've had them in all my campers. They're electric only. I forget the BTUs, but they're pretty strong. So it's great in early season camping, late season camping, or if you're a full-time camper, you know, colder months, that kicks out a lot of heat. You will have no problem whatsoever heating this whole area right here. I don't think it would get all the way back to the bedroom. I know in my Montana, I'm 38 feet and it doesn't get back to the bedroom, but it makes the main living area really comfy. And what's really great is you're not using your propane, you're using the campgrounds electric, which you're not paying for, super nice. So anyway, not a must, but man, I really love them. They're a nice feature to have. And on a day like today where it's nice and warm out, if you want, you can kick it on the lights just for the ambiance and not have the heat pumping out. So that is everything I think I wanted to talk about. Oh, I did not point out, I apologize. It does have auto leveling. We didn't, no, let's go ahead and look at that real quick. It does have six point hydraulic auto leveling, which is super nice. My Cougar has four point auto leveling and I love it. You just pull up, unhook, push a button, you're done. This one, you've got the six point. So the extra advantage to that is you're just gonna have a little bit more stabilization the four point works great i don't i don't have any problems with it you're just getting a little bit more with that but i also wanted to show your outside command area and it does have a light there we go so this almost looks identical to my cougar this is fantastic everything is in one easy place to take care of you can dump your tanks you can flush your tanks. You do all of your connections here, be it your key TV. You do your winterization from right here, which is super nice. Battery disconnect, everything. And you run all of your cords and stuff through here so you can close this pass-through storage access and you're good to go. One last thing that I wanna show you guys is it does come equipped with an inverter. So what that's gonna allow is your refrigerator to continue to work while you're going down the road. It will actually, excuse me, run off of your battery, which is nice because like, if you're like me and my wife, a lot of times we'll pull over at truck stops or rest areas and we'll actually eat in our camper when we're taking our big trips. Saves time, saves money, makes things super easy. There, I think I covered everything. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'd be happy to answer them for you. If there's a different model you want to see, we're here to help you guys. So have a great day and have a safe day.